Good morning. Uh, just approaching 25 minutes past 8 and uh, the start of another day. Uh, conditions have changed. During the night we've had uh, quite a bit of rain. Uh, showery, heavy uh, spells at times but um, it's been on and off all night and the wind has increased. It's uh, switched over as well. It's now blowing from uh, left to right, whereas it was blowing uh, from right to left when we arrived yesterday. So, uh, to report, um, I had a few bleeps up to about midnight, liners on the left hand rod, but uh, we actually had a take, uh, not from here, from a uh, Nick swim. At uh, 20 past 5 this morning, I had the shout, so I went round there and uh, Nick uh, had a good fish on. He, he said he felt a reasonable fish, a uh, proper plodder. I think he had the fish on for around about 5 or, five or 6 minutes and uh, everything locked up and uh, all of a sudden it went slack. And the only thing he brought back was uh, a rig, a pop-up and a big ball of Canadian pond weed. So uh, absolutely gutted he was. But uh, that's carp fishing. So uh, he's present and there's still a fair bit of weed about. And uh, the, the lad who we spoke to yesterday, who uh, we did the old uh, recce with and went round the water, he said to me that uh, he lost quite a few fish in the, uh, in the weed during the summer. But uh, obviously the weed's not as bad now. And it is starting to die off, but that fish that Nick had on, he uh, he found uh, a nice clump of it and managed to do him like and get rid of the rig. So uh, disappointing on that score, but let's just hope that there's another chance looming, and that ain't the only one that we're going to get during this session. But uh, we'll catch up with Nick in a bit. I'm just going to stick the old kettle on and try and get the throat working again because God coughed and coughed and coughed all night driving me mad I'm still here I ain't pulling off I'm gonna sit it out so I'm gonna do another day and another night and we're off tomorrow so uh, as I say this is our first full day and uh, we've got a few hours of daylight now so um, I might even change the approach on, I don't know yet, I might even put another uh, another pop-up rig out because that's the bite that Nick had, uh, sorry the rig that Nick had his bite on last night, he uh, was using one of his Nutribates pink pepper pop-ups on a single, so I've got uh, a trod rig on the old uh, right hand rod there, that's on a single, sent for Mel, uh, and Nick just uh, used a, a pop-up rig which was just basically uh, a braided hook link on a curved shank hook with uh, a little micro swivel on and a pop-up and he, he's done the same he's fished it as a single and that's the one that went so I don't know I might change one of those rods there the left or right one the ones that I've got the snowman's on I don't know yet but I'll certainly be uh, watching that water and looking for signs Saying that he didn't go that dark last night, so we were able to uh, see fish that were uh, were showing last night. But uh, there's a hell of a lot of uh, wildfowl. I mean, you can see if I can zoom in over there, you can see the coots. There's absolutely loads of them, and never making a right racket, and obviously diving. And at times you did think there was a fish, uh, a fish crashing, but a little coot come back up and stuck his head. So. You have to really, really watch the water and look for signs. But uh, obviously it's a lot easier to do that during the day. So there you go. I think I'll have a chat with Nick as well a bit later and uh, possibly uh, get him to show you that rig that he had the bite on last night. Because I know he likes his rigs and uh, he's always worth a chat about rigs, is Nick. So, uh, yep, hopefully... Uh, Something's going to materialise during the day. 
So I'm going to go and stick the kettle on now and get my uh, throat into some kind of uh, reasonable state because I feel a bit dry to be honest. But, uh, the old congestion's easing, so that's not that's a one one good thing. So uh, once again, apologies for for sound a bit croaky, but this coal's driving me blooming mad. But uh, as I said yesterday, I'd rather be here than uh, certainly working or stuck at home. Right then. I've just brought in the uh, the rods to re-spot and I just thought uh, whilst I, uh, I brought the rods in I'll just show you my chod setup. Uh, you may or may not have seen this but um, uh, I'm using a, a naked chod system so uh, I've got a back lead on there obviously we all know what that's for but uh, the no trace system now uh, there we go that's like a, a tungsten grommet with uh, a bead where there's a, a little section uh, cut out of. Uh, obviously that tungsten uh, grommet stroke cylinder bead type thing sinks and that no trace system will obviously keep your rig on the main line uh, and in the event of a, a cut off or a break uh, you know you part and the fish has still got the rig in its mouth that can actually just uh, slide off there yeah bit fiddly because I've got uh, a camera in one hand and uh, the rig in the other. Pops off there and with that gap there you can just literally drop the old bead leaving that and your rig can just pop off and uh, the fish is uh, free to just tow around the rig which uh, you'll get rid of in about two days. Uh, the other end is uh, another small tungsten uh, grommet and obviously uh, the distance between that one there uh, and the top bead is uh, on the depth of the weed. Here's my little chod rig, uh, a real small one, sent from our pop up, and that's counterbalanced with uh, some uh, rig putty which I've moulded around a crimp and a lead. And I like to use the, uh, the smallest uh, lead I can get away with which is uh, on this occasion an ounce and you can just see the uh, the weed there the old Canadian so uh, just thought I'd do this little piece whilst I was uh, bringing the rods in and that's fished on, uh, I'm using Christonite which is uh, a fluorocarbon coated um, mainline which is a bit kinked at the moment um, actually I think I'm going to uh, take that off and uh, re-rig this rod because uh, so this has been out all evening and it is a bit kink so I'm going to uh, retie this rig I think but uh, yep that's the uh, no trace system by Calder I've used it for uh, well over a year now it's very very impressive and uh, totally safe uh, one I recommend so uh, just a little bit just hope that would be of interest to you folks ok then just re-spotted uh, and I'll just uh, run through what I've done right hander which is on the uh, single rod setup that's still on the uh, single naked choddy with the uh, scent from our pop up and uh, I don't know if you can see that tree I'm going to zoom in there that's my marker and I can see that at night and I've spotted that rod right in the middle of the lake so I'm going to keep that one on a single the uh, left hand rod uh, I was fishing that in the centre of the lake but uh, Certainly the first two hours of darkness last night there was fish, whether it was the same fish or what, but I did see three shows, uh, ooh, not, not far from the bank to be quite honest, it was around about, I should say, seven or eight rod lengths from the bank, so uh, I've stuck a rod there now, I've come in a bit closer, and that one's on a fizz bottom bait with a, a white fizz bottom bait that is, and a white CM1 pop up. So that's a little snowman rig, both white baits, a little bag of uh, chopped fizz baits and I've just peppered about 10 or 15 baits over it. Real bad side wind today and it was a bit of a nightmare trying to get the baits scattered so I've got through a few but I've managed to uh, get a nice uh, carpet of bait around the rig and the, uh, the other rod, that's on the same spot again, that's in the middle of the lake. 
So uh, that one's on a, a bird food based fizz bottom bait with a little pink tipper, little bag and scattered baits around it again. So there you go, the old sky rats are out in force. So uh, pretty much sorted. But the, uh, the conditions have took a bit of a, a turn for the worst to be honest. Um, it's a real, there's a real bite in the wind now compared to last night. It was, uh, it wasn't warm, but it wasn't cold. If that makes uh, sense for this time of the year. But today, uh, it, it, you can feel a, a, a bit of a bite, and the winds uh, picked up, and it's as you can see now, the rain's falling. So I think this is in for the day. Uh, it's, it's more like April showers. You can see in the distance there, a bit of a, a blue sky. So we're getting that kind of like every 10 or 15 minutes, but. Um, on the, on the show front, fish wise, we've seen, I think Nick came round for a coffee this morning uh, and he spotted one. Uh, but I haven't really seen anything to be honest. Uh, so, could do with a few more really to uh, give me that boosting confidence. But, here's an idea this time of the year you do get windows. I mean, the fish were quite active in the first hour of darkness last night so I don't know maybe that's uh, the window of opportunity on this lake I just don't know as I say I haven't fished this lake for a number of years and uh, this is a uh, kind of like a, a recce, uh, recce session to be quite honest the old uh, delts lit up there that's the wind all raindrops uh, off the blank but uh, Poor old Nick's still gutted about losing that one this morning. But uh, nothing you can do now, mate, you just gotta get on with it. Hopefully that isn't the only chance we're gonna get. And hopefully we're gonna have one more chance before we leave. But uh, that's the scene at the moment, folks. So, uh, kettle's back on. I'm gonna make myself another brew. And then I think I'm gonna do a bit of breakfast. A bit of sausage and bacon. So, uh, We'll catch up with you later, folks.